and welcome to our guide on how to set up customers in ESC. As soon as ESC is installed, you can immediately begin entering customers into your database. But there are options and defaults that you can add or change to make entering your customers easier. For information on these settings, check out our video tutorial on the Customer Information module. But let's jump right in. You can reach the Enter Customer screen by clicking on the Customer icon in your icon tray or by selecting Enter Customers under the Customer Info menu. If you need to select a customer that is already in your database, you can type their name into the Select Customer field or click the drop-down arrow to activate the customer search screen. To add a new customer, click on the Add New Customer button on the toolbar. This will assign the next available customer number to this record and place your cursor in the Last Name field. Begin by filling in the customer's name and address. If you enter the customer's zip code in the City field and hit Tab, note that ESC will fill in the city and state for you. Next, enter the customer phone numbers. Each will have a label field with drop-down options for quickly identifying various contact numbers. These numbers will also carry over to Location 1, which will automatically be generated when you create a new customer. The Terms field will allow you to assign specific payment terms to individual customers. These will flow through to any invoice that is generated for this customer. The Credit Rating field helps you to track the current credit standing of this customer with your company. The credit rating also appears on dispatches and the qualification screen and may also be used to prevent dispatches from being created for customers that are in bad standing. The sales sort code field is used for tracking the effectiveness of your marketing campaigns. By tracking how many customers were brought in by your Google Ads versus your Yellow Pages ad, you'll know where your advertising funds were better invested. The salesperson field can be used to give credit to the person responsible for bringing the customer to your business and also to keep track of who their main contact in the company should be. Below that, we have price code, which can be set to A, B, or C. The price code field comes from the inventory module and allows you to set variable prices for specific customers. Setting the default priority field will ensure that any dispatch generated for this customer will automatically be assigned to a priority of your choosing. This may come in handy for identifying agreement customers or special needs customers just by glancing at the electronic dispatch board. The discount percent that you enter for this customer would be utilized on the sales invoicing screen. When you enter a discount billing code, the discount percent will be pulled from the Enter Customer screen so that you don't need to remember how much of a discount some customers may be entitled to. The Late Charge Percent field determines how much of a finance charge will be calculated for this customer when you are generating monthly statements. If you are ready to create a dispatcher quote for this customer, you can click Save or select your next step from the Activities menu, which will prompt you to save the customer and then carry their information over to the next screen. However, there are plenty of other fields and tabs in the Customer Entry screen that can help you to track and assist this customer more efficiently. The Locations tab will look similar to the General tab, but this is where the physical location information for this customer will be stored, whereas the data in the General tab is their billing information. You'll notice that Location 1 already has addresses and phone numbers entered. These were copied from the General tab for Location 1 only. If this customer has multiple locations, we recommend leaving Location 1 as their primary location and clicking the Add New Location button. You can easily identify these locations by giving them different names in the Location Name field. You can also assign a tax code, trip charge, and labor rate to each individual location. The Contact Information section will be different for each location. Here's where you'll record contact names, email addresses, and phone numbers. You can also separate email addresses using the Email Tasks field, which will designate which address is used for billing purposes and which are for general mailings. Below the contact information, you will find a section for Location Notes, where you can review any miscellaneous information that is not already recorded in a designated field. Next, we have the Additional Information tab. At first glance, this tab will appear blank. But by clicking on the Define Custom Fields button, you have the ability to create your own fields. These fields can be made into drop-down menus by entering the field label and then adding up to 20 list items for that menu, or alternatively, by entering a field label and nothing else, you can create a free-form field 
where you can track a wide variety of data. The Sort Codes tab allows you to generate and assign any number of sort codes to the selected customer. A sort code is like a category. You may have sort codes for residential customers, commercial customers, condo owners, renters, and many more. Sort codes are for the purpose of generating reports for a category of customers rather than for all of your customers. The Documents tab is for attaching documents to this customer's record. Almost every module in ESC has a Documents tab where you can save a wide variety of files. Simply click on the Add New button to navigate to the document, or you can drag the document from a folder or from your desktop right onto this screen and release the mouse to add the document to the customer's record. The Equipment tab is where you can track various pieces of equipment that this customer has in their possession. We won't get into too much detail here because we have another video dedicated entirely to the Equipment tab. The History tab will display for you all of the history records that have been saved on sales invoices. Anytime you use a history code on a sales invoice, it gets committed to this customer's history record for use by mobile technician and for running reports out of ESC. You can also use the History tab of the Enter Customer screen to manually enter history records if you don't have an associated invoice for them. When creating customers in ESC, it is not necessary to visit every tab of the Enter Customer screen. You can start them off with as much or as little information as you have available at that time. You can also pull up an existing customer in this screen at any time to add to their profile or make changes to their information. This concludes our tutorial on entering customers into ESC. Please check our other customer information tutorials for more information. Thank you for watching.